First this afternoon, Minnesota roadways are nearly twice as dangerous for drivers right now compared to this time last year. That's according to a new report from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. However, in the southeast part of the state, Minnesota State Patrol says there's been a significant decrease in fatalities. KIMT News 3's Max Haslow spoke with the department about the deadly data divide. Max, what's causing the statewide increase and what are we learning about why it's safer in our area? Well, just according to the State Patrol, many of the winter weather effects can normally slow down traffic, actually, as people try to avoid minor fender benders. However, as the weather warms up like it is right now, people are more likely to be speeding and having reckless driving habits, which can lead to an increase in traffic crashes. Now, State Patrol does tell you Minnesota as a whole has seen almost 50 fatal crashes this year. Around the same time in 2023, the department says traffic uh, crashes were around 30 fatalities. However, in the southeast part of the state, troopers have seen a massive drop in deadly highway incidents. Sergeant Troy Christensen tells me there were almost 20 last year, but as of today, there have only been three fatal crashes. And while Christensen tells me it's too soon to ex understand exactly why our area has seen a dip, in, a dip in deaths, he says every single one is still preventable. And it's speed-related, distracted driving or impairment, and lack of seatbelts. So we still need to focus on those four factors and uh, correct them and try and reduce it down to zero. Uh, but we are fortunate only, only with three compared to the rest of the state that's had higher numbers. I'm also told traffic deaths caused by speed, alcohol, and not wearing a seatbelt are at the highest they've been statewide through February 18th since 2021. Live in Rochester, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Max. Drivers can expect to see more troopers out on Minnesota roadways. State Patrol will be increasing speed enforcement throughout the summer.